In our ongoing Call and Aid preview segment, we're joined by Marilyn Farrell, Photo and Leisure Editor, to tell us about what we can expect to read about in this week's issue. Thanks for joining us, Marilyn. Yeah, you're welcome. First, so first of all, tell us um, what exactly your job and title is. Um, I have two jobs, actually. I am a photo editor. That's where I edit photos each week, and then I help them place it into the actual design and crop them so it'll fit in the newspaper. And then we kind of lighten it, because newspaper print is really hard to print really great photos, so we kind of have to fit that for the newspaper. Um, I'm also a leisure editor, and usually that's one page where I have like the crossword and the Sudoku that everyone loves, and then it's up to me to kind of come up with like really great um, entertainment things for uh, the campus, such as music and just cool things for cool. people to hear about. So. so you're the creative mind of the operation. Yeah, I, I try to be. Okay. So. Great. Well, tell us more about you. We're talking about um, magic dragons, right? You're it's, writing about it, that. It's Imagine Dragons. Yes. Imagine they, um, Dragons. Okay. They're um, a really popular band right now. Um, they are currently number 11 on iTunes with their new album Night Visions, and they have reached number four on the Billboard charts. Um, they are a really great band, and I was lucky enough to get in contact with them through email. Um, so I talked to their bassist, Ben Mackey, and he gave a lot of great uh, answers to, you know, their popularity and everything, so. Cool. So the kind of questions you were asking then was just... Um, I kind of asked them questions about their, um, what it was like, like, how it is for them to become famous now and um, their next single they're going to put out and whatnot. And a lot of that he kind of told me is that they make music for the joy of it and that they're not um, living their career to the next single or to the next success. They're doing it because they really enjoy it and that they're, gl they're glad that their fans are really um, enjoying it as well. So. And you can obviously tell then because they yeah. got in contact with yeah. you, so that's awesome. Uh, yeah, I mean, they, they're they asking me if uh, there's going to be a show in Village or something like that. I was like, no, like I just heard really great things about you. Like, they were like, great, we'd love to get as much publicity as possible. Cool. So, um, yeah, it was awesome. And then you said it that was a preview for a series that you're going to be um, putting out? Yeah, sort of. Um, I also have lined up a Q&A with the Lumineers, which are they are number eight currently on iTunes, and they're doing well also. And then I've also been been in contact with the press people from Passion Pit, and hopefully I will be able to go out and meet with them October 20th and actually go to their concert and meet them and talk to them. Definitely. That so. is so cool. Yeah. Awesome. Well, is there anything else to be expected in the Colonnade this um, week? This week, also in the Colonnade, um, Sanction the Radio is an actual local band. Um, they Half of them are from Macon, half of them are from Milledgeville, and I got to sit down and talk to them about how they um, you know, came about as a band and that they actually will be performing at Buffington's on October 18th, and it will be their first time performing in Milledgeville. And they're really excited to come out, and they're really hoping to gain more fans as well. Great. So, so you mainly do contact then with, like, artists, bands, yeah, things like I, that. Yeah, I really um, enjoy, you know, the whole arts and entertainment realm, so I try to incorporate that as much as possible. So. Cool. Yeah. Great. And then, um, so as far as the colonnade goes, you told me leisure is the the Sudoku and it's a Sudoku and okay, stage, cool. So, so how do you go about like um, well, making that happen? Well, I actually don't make the puzzles or anything like that. Um, we have a person that sends them to us each week. So um, he just sends them to us, and I put them in there. And then um, you know, I just kind of design the whole page myself, and you know, decide right. what's going to go in the paper and everything. So I'm really excited. I'm really glad I've had the opportunity to do that. And I'm also doing the photo editor, so I'm really busy every Wednesday night with our production Definitely. night and everything. And then I also help out, you know, any other section that needs help, like A&E or news. Mm -hmm. um, like last night, we did a um, last minute uh, cut line and a standalone photo for the debates. So okay. me, and, me and Scott, my assistant, we went out to the debate on front campus and took photos. And then I listened and wrote a really long cut line, you know, mm -hmm. about the debates. And so that was well, exciting. It, sounds, it does. It sounds very exciting. Yeah, well, that's about all the time we actually have Great. for today. But thank you so much thank for, you for joining us. Me.